In this lecture, we will cover sketching circles, arcs, and ellipses, which we can do with a few clicks. The commands we will use are in the commands bar here. Now let's get into the sketch mode. Select the top plane and click sketch. Let's start with drawing a standard circle. So we click in the circle icons here. Notice the shape of the cursor has changed. Also, notice the visual representation in the cursor. It actually tells you the clicks needed to draw the circle. A click on the center of the circle. This time we're going to choose the origin. And a click at the parameter of the circle. Let's try drawing another circle. Again, we go to the center. We click and we move the mouse and then we click again. We can choose the center to be anywhere we want. Assuming we want the center of the circle to be here, we can click here, move the mouse to the parameter, and we click again. Assuming we do not want more circles, we can press escape on the keyboard. And now you can notice that the cursor has changed back to normal. Now let's assume we drew this circle by mistake and we want to remove it. We can simply go to the parameter, right click, and we will see a delete option. We click on it and the circle is gone. Now let's try sketching an arc. An arc is basically a section of a circle and so creating an arc is very similar to creating a circle. Let's start with clicking on the arc icon. Note the shape of the cursor has changed. Now we do one click at the center and then we move the mouse to determine the radius of the arc. And we click again and now we have an extra step from drawing a circle. As you move the cursor around you notice that we are now determining the length of the arc. So if we click for a third time we have an arc. Let's try another one. Click at the center move to determine the radius, click again, move again to determine the length of the arc, do another click and we have another arc. Say we do not want more arcs, we can press escape on the keyboard. Let's go ahead and move to ellipses, but first this sketch is getting messy so we're gonna go ahead and delete it. We're gonna first exit the sketch, and then right click on the sketch and click delete. Click yes and the sketch is gone. Let's start another one. Top plane again, sketch and we are in the sketch mode. Now let's go ahead and start sketching an ellipse. Note the ellipse icon is here in the command bar. So we click on it. Again note the shape of the cursor. Just a small background information. An ellipse consists of two axes, a major axis and a minor axis. And we should keep those in mind while we are sketching an ellipse. So first, we select the center of the ellipse. Let's say we want to use the origin. So we click on the origin and start moving the mouse. Now we are actually determining the major axis. So if we click again and start moving the mouse, we can see that now we are determining the minor axis. If we click again, we have an ellipse. Again, let's do another one. Let's say we want the center to be here. So we click, we determine the major axis, click again, determine the minor axis, click again, and we have another ellipse. We do not want more ellipses, so we press escape on the keyboard. Before we end, always remember that all complex shapes can be broken down into simple ones. And while you're here, try playing around with creating circles, arcs, and ellipses. Also, go to those drop-down menus and experiment with different methods of creating those shapes. If you have any questions, 
please go ahead and post them in the discussion board.